Creating tasks, projects, times and customers in AWORK has never been easier. With the new Action button, we unify the Quick Actions, the Add button and the Search. This makes AWORK even simpler and faster for you to use in your day-to-day -day business. To start with, here's a quick review. Until now, you could use these windows in AWORK to create projects, tasks, times and clients. This is exactly the process we have reworked and, most importantly, made faster and better. For that, we just need to go to the new action button. It's nice, isn't it? When you go over the button, it already shows you the function. Not only the actions, but also the search can be operated with it. You can also open the window with Command K on Mac or Control K on Windows. Of course, this all works with the mouse as well. When you open the menu, immediately it becomes clear what is possible here. Just enter a term and the search works as before. Below, you can create a project, a task or a new client. Also, you can enter the time entry from here. At the bottom of the page, you can see the shortcuts. You can access those windows from anywhere by just pressing P for projects, T for tasks, Z for time entries or C for customers. As I said, the search works exactly as before. Just enter a term and the most relevant hits will appear. On the right, you have a filter option. For example, to display done projects, just like before the update. Let's have a look on creating projects. You can create projects via the action button with Command K or Control K, depending on your device, or simply by pressing P on your keyboard. Let's create a new project together. First, we need a name. Then, of course, we need an image. Now we can add project members. Next, we go to the details and here we find everything we are able to set in our project details as well. For example, I can add a tag. Or a project type. If we are moving on, we can of course pick a project template. With hitting the escape button or back, we get back to the project creation. You can leave the creation window by just clicking the X button. Below the input field, you can see our new slash commands. Now you can insert details even faster. For example, we can insert members, insert a customer, select tags, add a description, and set a deadline. You see, with the slash commands the creation is much faster, but of course you can also just continue to work with a mouse. And our project is created. Let's go back to the dashboard. If you want to create tasks, the procedure is quite similar. Here you open the window while hitting the T key. The main difference here is, some info is already pre-selected, depending on which window you created the task from. Let's go to a project for example. If we create a task from here using the T key, you will see immediately the project we are in is already pre-selected in the task. Like this, we reduce unnecessary steps for you. Of course, if necessary, you can also assign another project. Let's create this task as well. We call it magazines and we want to assign it to a list. And also we want to assign a assignee. If we are done with all the information, we can just hit the save button. Let's go to the task list. 
You see that we are working in the same creation mode, but you can still see the other tasks in the project now. Just like this, you will always keep full transparency on previously created tasks and all their details. The slash commands work the same way as for the projects and are shown below. For example, if I want to create a new task for my social media list, I can just type it here. Add, for example, a budget, a tag, or an assignee. You see, creating tasks with the slash commands is as easy as for the projects. Nice. So, maybe you need to create a new customer in AWORK for your projects and tasks as well. This is also very easy with new actions. The C key opens the window for creating a customer. Here, you can also insert the name and a picture, of course. Also, if you want to enter tags or an industry, you can just do that via the details. And just easy as that, the creation is done. Now, finally, your project is set up, you are working on your to-dos and now you want to track times on your tasks. You can do so by just open the time entry action by pressing the Z on your keyboard. Now, you provide all the necessary info here. It is important to understand that the time elements interact. The duration, the start time, the end time and the slider are all linked to each other. Let me show you an example. We make a time entry of 3 hours. Now, if I enter 11 am as the start time, the end date will automatically be set to 2 pm after confirmation. But now I notice that I made a mistake as it had actually been 5 hours, so I adjust the duration just via the slider. As you can see, the duration and the end time are automatically adjusted. I adjust it safe and the entry is saved. In general, it is important to understand that all these processes only apply to the creation of projects, tasks, clients and times. If I open a project and go to the edit mode, the window for editing looks exactly the same as before. The new actions are designed to help you making the creation of new things in AWORK as smooth and simple as possible. Have fun trying them out! You can find more information in the description below the video. There you can also find a link to our help center.